एग्जाम्पल वन पॉइंट फाइव कंसिडर थ्री चार्जेस क्यू वन क्यू टू क्यू थ्री ईच इक्वल टू क्यू एट द वर्टाइज ऑफ एन इक्विलेटल ट्राइंगल ऑफ साइड एल सो हियर वी हैव दिस ट्राइंगल ए बी एंड सी इट इज एन इक्विलेटल ट्राइंगल एंड ईच साइड हैज अंथ एल देन वॉट इज द फोर्स ऑन द चार्ज क्यू placed at the centroid of the triangle so as per the ncrt figure we have uh, this three charges q1 q2 and q3 right all have same charge and same magnitude so let us assume all are positive we are placing an unknown charge q which is also positive because it is given that with the same sign as q so if we consider this positive then this is also positive now what will now what will happen as this is positive it will be repelled by this charge q so the line joining the uh, these two charges will show the direction of the force it means it get repel in this direction so f1 is the force exerted on this q charge by this charge q1 and it is given by equation f is equals to k q q divide by this distance it is a o square right similarly the force exerted by charge at b on this charge at o is in this direction which is labeled by f2 and is given by equation f2 is equals to k q capital q divided by the distance o b square similarly the charge at vertex is c at vertex c is repel is repelling this charge q3 in this direction with the force f is equals to k q q by c o square right so in all these cases we have to find this the value of ao bo and co okay so how we will find this value now from figure we know that the length of ao bo and co is same so ao bo and co are equal now if i consider this triangle uh, b d o this triangle so here i have drawn here b d oh this triangle right in that case uh, cos theta now why cos theta c i want this line this ob because i know that ob oc this o and b so i want ob so ob oc and uh, oa are equal right so i can find if i find ob then i will get the rest values so why i am using cos theta here see if here theta then this length we know l by 2 because this bisector will cut this into two equal half so if this is l by 2 means if this is half right and we know this we know this angle right we also know this angle why because it is an equilateral triangle so this angle is 30 degree because the total angle is 60 so cos theta so cos 30 is equals to adjacent by hypo right so what is adjacent here bd what is hypo here bo or ob so if you make bo as a subject then bo is equals to bd by cos 30 now bd is l by 2 and cos 30 is root 3 by 2 2 to cancel so the length of this ob or bo is l by root 3 so all are equal so here l by root 3 now let us try to find out the force on charge q so the force exerted by q1 is given by equation k q q by ao square right that is already we have discussed right here on this charge all these three charges are exerting force so the total force acting is the vector sum of all these forces so it is k q q by ao square this can be rewritten as k q q and ao is nothing but l by root 3 so l by root 3 whole square so this 3 will go up so it is 3 k q q by l square let us call this force as capital f and the direction of this force is along a to o so f1 is directed along a o similarly if we talk about f2 which is acting in this direction right then it is k q q the distance is ob square the distance is ob or bo so bo is nothing but l by root 3 so same answer we are getting and the direction of this force is along b to o similarly the f3 can be calculated and its direction is along c to o so here we can see that the magnitude of all the forces are equal and the directions are level now here we have three forces so we will use parallelogram and we will consider first two forces then the resultant we will add with the third one so let us find the resultant due to f2 and f3 so we are interested to find the resultant of uh, f2 and f3 now when f2 and f3 are aligned like this okay 
then they are actually equal so the magnitude of f2 is f and magnitude of f3 is also f and the angle between them is 120 now how i know this is 120 see this is 30 this is 30 so 30 plus 30 60 so the remaining angle is 120 degree right and this is the vertically opposite angle right if we uh, draw like this right then if this is 120 then this is also 120 it is a vertically opposite angle right there are many ways to find out that angle okay so the resultant of f2 and f3 is f2 square plus f3 square plus 2 f2 f3 cos 120 now f2 and f3 are equal so f square f square plus 2 f square cos 120 is minus 1 by 2 so resultant is f see whenever two forces of equal magnitude right are added or any two vectors having equal magnitude but the angle between them is 120 the resultant will also be same right so here the resultant force of f2 and f3 is f and it is along o to a right now we are adding this force to the third part okay so here uh, it is along o a now the net force the net force acting on charge q is f2 plus f3 plus f1 now we know that the resultant of f2 and f3 is f and is along o to a right but the force acting on this charge q due to the q1 right that is f1 is along this direction this is a to o right a to o so this force is also f and the resultant of f2 and f3 is also f right f1 is also f and resultant of f2 and f3 is also f and they are aligning at 180 degree so the net force if this is i consider positive then this is negative so the resultant is zero right the resultant force is zero or mathematically f square plus f square right so here it is f square the resultant of these two force is also f so it is f square plus 2f into f so f square cos 180 so 2f square minus 2f square is equals to zero because cos 180 is minus one